One of the things that the Nature Center looks at when it comes to why we want an aquatic reserve in this area uh, is the uniqueness of the habitats that we're looking at. Uh, once again over at Anderson Island, uh, the lack of nearshore armoring, uh, the fact that there, uh, there are uh, public DNR lands in several areas within the aquatic reserve. Um, being able to give people information and access to know that uh, they do have public lands in some areas where they can uh, uh, get access. Um, we also want to uh, be able to encourage people to look at um, the future of this area. You know, what is it going to look like uh, in 90 years is a, is a, is a long time. Uh, an aquatic reserve is basically looking at a 90 year conservation easement. What's really exciting about this is, uh, as a site proponent, we've got many different stakeholders that we've worked with. Uh, the tribe, the refuge, uh, Burlington Northern, Anderson Island, our community right here, the Lure community, uh, the Beechcrest community, uh, Ketron Island, Fort Lewis. You know, all these people are sort of trying to come together uh, to form what is the future of this area going to develop into. Uh, and if we do uh, succeed in creating an aquatic reserve, uh, we can hopefully uh, see healthy waters in the Puget Sound for, for you know, generations to come. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to use this also as a map as to you know, how uh, we can demonstrate communities working together uh, so we can maybe expand this process uh, to other areas, um, uh, north and to the south uh, of what we see here. So.